Hello everyone, welcome to Pluto's Mic. My name is Akila. I'm going to be discussing intimacy and the eighth house and how those two things are intertwined. And uh, it doesn't just have to be the eighth house, any personal planets in the uh, sign of Scorpio, Pluto aspecting any of your planets or the eighth house um, are strong indicators of a person that has a strong capacity to be intimate or very, very close in relationship, sometimes to an osmosis type of vibration where they want to blend with you, they want to be one with you. So we need to understand what intimacy is first. And intimacy is a closeness between people in a personal relationship. Um, some intimacy builds immediately and some intimacy is built over time, depending on the tolerance of the person as well, you know. So when you have intimacy in a relationship with someone, there is trust and support. Um, and the reason why I say that is because that's Scorpio is all about trust and supporting and sharing um, with the partner. So when you have intimacy with someone, it is really, really a big um, indicator that they will trust and they will support and share with you things. And this is where Scorpio and the eighth house gets really, really dark. Because when you think about intimacy, if you are connecting with another person, you are sharing with another person, um, there's a lot of things that can come up, taboo situations, where it can make the relationship that you have with the person even stronger than before, right? So I'm just thinking about a situation where... Um, um, a dynamic happened with a friend of mine and by me being very open and sharing a very intimate situation, it actually bonded me and the, my friend even closer because of the fact that I was willing to share something with that person that was very close to my heart. And that person was able to also be open in receiving what I was sharing with them. And instead of judging, the person just accepted what I said with a lot of love and support. Now, that's not the case with every dynamics with the Scorpio intimacy eighth house dynamic, because a lot of times you can be intimate with someone that can actually betray you. And that can lead to a really big realization in how it is that you're intimate with another person, how much you're sharing with the person, how much you're connecting with them, and how comfortable you really feel with a person also is a big indicator of how intimate you are with that person. When you're talking about the eighth house, when you're dealing with Scorpio, all of these things have to do with closeness. So let's say you're looking at a your birth chart or anyone's birth chart, and there's a lot of planets in the eighth house, there's a strong need for that person to have intimate relationships, whether with one person or many people, but there's a way that this person has to express that closeness to another person. Anywhere where you see Scorpio on the cusp, um, in a house. This is going to be a place where that person is going to need intimacy. They're going to need closeness. They're going to need one-on-one um, -on -one relationships where they know the person um, is there for them and they can trust them. You also, when you're intimate, you have to let your defenses down and know that your partner or the person that you're being intimate with is going to be there, right? So it's a big intimacy and bringing down your, your walls and not being defensive. Also, it's a big thing that people with the eighth house have a really big problem with as well. So when you want to be intimate, you also have to drop your guards and to drop your guards, you have to be able to trust a person. So this is why the eighth house is a strong, strong ind indicator of intimacy. And this is why joint assets are there. Also, you know, children come from the eighth house. A birthing conception of a child comes from the, um, the eighth house where it's two people intimately coming together and then creating something very different, which is a blend of the two of them, which is the osmosis of intimacy. It signifies physical and emotional closeness and even a mix, again, of the two people, right? So when you're looking for intimacy and love in a birth chart, you really want to check to see what is the person's barometer for intimacy as well. If you see that the person has uh, planets in Scorpio or aspects being made by Pluto to their personal planets, there is an opportunity for intimacy there. So definitely look more into that. 
I hope you guys like this video on intimacy and I will talk to you guys soon. You can email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com if you guys have any questions and write your comments uh, below and your experiences with intimacy and the eighth house. Thanks guys.